I couldn't really come to the French Alps and not talk about how it's been affected by climate change or as now we're starting to call it the climate breakdown. It's the middle of January and I'm in Courchevel in the French Alps and it's absolutely chucking it down with rain. Me and a lot of other skiers and snowboarders get a bit disappointed when it rains because some of our runs end up as just concrete or this wooden bridge or grass and I've been speaking to a few members of staff about how it's affecting their business and you know in the French Alps with snow the skiing industry has been going on for a long time and they've actually been measuring snow cover scientifically for around about 600 years um, and it turns out that in the French Alps overall they are seeing 36 days less snow cover in the last 600 years and that really is the blink of an eye so in generations to come the ski season is going to be getting shorter and shorter and wetter and wetter and that's just how it is and I mean I'm here in the middle of January it should be crazy crazy cold and full of snow hopefully overnight as the temperature drops in the mountains this rain will turn to snow and we'll be able to get back out on the slopes tomorrow but the snowy alps and mountains around the world are really seeing blatant signs of the climate breakdown and it's really sad we need to understand it we need to think about our daily life and the things we do and we need to be making an effort but also we need to be getting out there and enjoying it while it lasts. Bit of a sad subject, I know. But yeah, so 600 years they've been measuring snow cover and we've got 30, a whopping 36 days less snow cover. How about it? Anyway, it's raining quite hard. So I'm gonna head on in now. Just take a look at this run here. You can actually see the wood. And down here, you can see all the mud and the grass and they've had to actually close this run because it just hasn't got the snow cover on it there you go cheers guys get wild from the alps